So apparently, one thing about me, I will abandon you guys. <laughs> That's what Len said. Please. So hey guys, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You see, I didn't, I did not abandon anybody. So I have a dilemma. I need a different perspective <laughs> because <laughs> I feel like. I may have overreacted a bit, but I need a different perspective. I'll speak to my therapist about it so that we can just do better, I guess, as people. So, yes, so today's gonna be a very little story time. Um, yesterday was quite eventful. <laughs> now that I think about it, <laughs> there was a lot going on, and um, I don't think my reaction was the best, <laughs> but a lot was happening. I think it took. My reaction was justified. I feel like uh, because I go to therapy, I know when I'm doing too much. And as much as I was doing a lot, I feel like I was justified. So let's pick up a bit. So um, the beginning of the month, this month, I started with my braces, Jenny. Because for the longest time, I was always, always, always uh, self-conscious with smiles. With my smile, I still am. Um, if you go on my Instagram, you will see a lot of my pictures. I don't smile a lot. Um, I'm always quite serious and I'm like, I'm not really a serious person. Like you can see I'm a clown even here. So I don't really smile a lot because uh, I was very, uh, I was very self-conscious about my smile and everything. And for the longest time I wanted to do something about it. But I guess braces are very, are very expensive. And as a student, I was not affording them at all. And uh, that was not something that was a priority back then. And then um, one of the things I had promised myself to was that once I started working, I will work on my smile. And this year, I delayed the journey quite a bit. Uh, but uh, this month, last month, I was like, you know what, it's time. And I started doing researches. Uh, but I knew where I wanted to get my business done um for me i was like i want to support black young queer businesses so um i was like i knew exactly i knew someone in rosebank and i was like that's exactly where i'm going to get my braces because i knew an orthodontist there uh was also queer and black and young i was like yes this is where i'm taking my cash so we spoke and then he was like you can pay 6.5 initially when you come and then from there what we're going to do we will divide the amount into payment plans into a payment plan and that will pay 1.5 with each visit until i finish so i was like okay it's fine so it's 6.5 at the first consultation and then 1.5 every month until you finish cool so um before i went i then went on the internet because i wanted to because i wanted to research um just to see other people's journeys so i watched like, a few youtube videos i uh, looked at a few tiktoks i read up about it a bit on the internet also because i wanted to know exactly what i'm getting myself into and um okay cool so all of that was fine so at the initial consultation I initially thought we were going to sit down and, I'll, and they will explain the process to me, but it was, it was actually quite, it was not that at, like that at all. I got the ascending form and then I got my upper braces uh, fitted and then they said, uh, before we continue with the lower jaw, I'll have to get x-rays first and then when I come back, we will do that. So I was like, okay, that's fine didn't know that was gonna happen though i thought it was gonna be both i thought maybe we might even take x-rays day um so cool that was fine so then the idea was um he said i will send you um i will send you a a referral letter to get x-rays at this specific place and then um okay the, the, the instruction was you'll get x-rays where you wash your teeth before um that was at his previous practice so yes so i knew exactly where that previous practice was because i had went there before so he said that's where we're going to get the x-rays sharp so now the appointment was i saw it was on a saturday so the following week saturday i would go and get the lower jaw fitted but to get x-rays before but remember i also have to get a referral letter so um on a wednesday of uh, the following week I, I get a message and it's like hey i'm going to Kensington until sunday um so i won't be able to see you on saturday will it be possible for you to come today um so that we can finish the process and i'm like um unfortunately no i can't mainly because on a wednesday is our clinic day uh and mopd gets 
quite busy not even it like it's get busy because they book a lot of patients so we usually finish at around four uh i work in pretoria and not even in town in one of uh the gases so it's quite far to get to town even and then from town i have to get to johannesburg and then that's also quite a distance so i was like no i can't i can't come this wednesday um we can try for the following monday because you'll be gone until mm -hmm. sunday so on monday how about that and it's like okay cool you'll come on monday Shab. and then on sunday of that week i was on call so call is when you are at work from eight o'clock in the morning until the following day it's supposed to be until the following day at eight o'clock in the morning so it's supposed to be 24 hours but you find that we do post intake work round with the consultant which which is the senior of the team he comes in the morning and then he sees all the patients that were admitted during the call so with that um in internal medicines people know that uh, post intake usually takes quite some time because there's presentations, the students are there, there's teaching and everything, and most of the time I'm just there zoned out. <laughs> but anyway, it's fine. Um, so the intern is a person who does the work after the round ends. So the round would end, and then you would have to book the scans that were that uh, they told you to book. If there were bloods, you would do the blood. If there were drips that came out, you need to do the drips. If there were medications that we need to be prescribe you would do all those things so you make sure that all the orders that were given during the round you do them and with the scans it's not just you go in there to book you go in there to discuss with the different department that you need the scan form and they might say no so it might be a back and forth back and forth they might send you back to your registrar to say uh why do you need this or you might need one two three before and then you have to come back to them so it takes a while so on a Monday, I was post-call, post, yeah, to, so it was post-intake. So I was very exhausted because the call was quite busy. So I then text and I'm like, Ish, I can't come today because I'm post-call and I'm tired. And like I said, it's very far where you are. So to, to get there is going to be quite a distance. So, okay, cool, that, that was fine. Like, okay, cool, he understood. I came home, I slept, and then we said, how about we do it for Saturday? So it's like a okay, cool Saturday can work, but um I didn't even think it through because um on um Friday it was a uh, our call day again, so I was back on call. <laughs> so so what that means is that this Saturday it's my next post intake day, so the one on to quite some time as well. But because it's Saturday there's not a lot of people um within the hospitals so um you can really book with the scans and everything a lot of the things will be done on monday even when they are being requested during the weekend so we do what we can in the weekend to keep you alive until monday and you get all the scans then unless an agent scan if it's agent we will book, try to book it immediately so that you can get it so cool on a saturday um it's like are you still coming I'm like of course i'm coming i mean i'm post call but i'm tired but this one I need to go. I'm going. And then he's like, Did you get the x rays done? This is where it starts. And I'm like to him, No, I didn't get the x rays done because you said to me, You're going to send me the referral and you never send the referral. And for me, I feel like in hindsight, I should have um, reminded him, but I just felt like, Okay, cool. You said you're going to send me something you did, you, you, you are going to send it. And then it's like, Ish, damn. Um, my receptionist was supposed to send you the referral letter. I don't know why they didn't do it. Okay, cool. And then he sends it through. And then he's like, this place has an open Gary weekend. So, um, yeah. So that was another... It was, I was like, oh, man, I can't go to Joburg now. Because obviously I don't have this x-rays. And I was really looking forward to going to Joburg. So cool, I can't go there. So I was like, okay, you know, you know what? I'm posting take. I'm going to sleep. Um, I'm like, okay, cool. It's fine. I'll get... um. The, I'll get the things on Monday. I'll make sure that I get uh, the x-rays done on Monday. Cool. On Monday. You. Yesterday, because today is Tuesday. Monday. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I, when I tell you for who is again, Monday really tried me. So this is where it starts. I'm going to take you throughout the day because this is where the drama <laughs> actually was. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It took nine minutes for the story to build up to this moment, but you need context. So um, on Sunday, I was doing cover at work. So cover on, on weekend means that you just come and see the patients that the firm, the unit have. So it was my registrar and I, we, we saw the patients for all our unit. So when we were on call, we admitted a lady. She was 
not doing very well um and then her, her like her hp was quite low so we needed to transfuse her so we transfused her and um when we were there on sunday for the cover she needed more blood so we had to book more so at the end of my cover i i, I then I, I i hand over the that you hand over critical patients to the people who are on call for that day because it's all these people on call so now yes i make sure that she has a line um it's working i booked the blood and uh, everything is ready now and then i hand over to the intern on call to say that um can you please one blood bank because you because with, with you, you you send the, the sample to blood bank and then you have to wait for it for when it's ready so i'm like to him um can you please when um this bloods are ready can you please transfuse my patient okay cool it's like okay cool yes we'll, i'll do it the another colleague a friend of mine also requests the same thing for his patient so this is quite important actually why i'm mentioning there's two people cool so yes we hand them over to this particular person doctor on call with our other intern he's like okay cool it's fine i'll do it um now tell me why when i get to work on monday i ask this lady because i started i started with her i was like to her did you get your blood yesterday did they transfuse you and then she's like no um no one transfused me and i'm like what do you mean what the hell because my thing is um her hp was quite low what do you mean that you were not transfused i was like are you sure it's yeah and i'm like where are the bloods she's like no the bloods never came and i'm like okay cool. Did this mean, Jorge, I had to call the intern and ask him, Jorge, did you manage to transfuse? I feel like moving forward with some people, that's what you, I'm going to need to do. If you hand over somebody, you have to call them and ask them, did you do what I asked you to do? And then I go to Black Bank. I get to Black Bank. The bloods are at Black Bank for both patients, my patient and my friend's patient. <sighs> I was upset. I was very, very upset at that time because that was very negligent. A lot of things could have happened and then we could have been in trouble. And I don't even, like for me getting into trouble, that's fine. I would have, I get my way out of it, but something could have happened to the patient. Because for me, I was going to say that I handed over the patient to somebody else and then they would have had to answer why they didn't carry out the orders. Okay, I asked him what happened because then I'm like my, reg I need to tell my registrar something because we, we're supposed to transfuse this lady yesterday. Why was she not transfused? And then he says to me, Black Bank never called him. <sighs> Black Bank is not going to call everybody. There's a lot happening. They are also working with skeleton stuff on the weekends. You have to go there and find your samples. So I was like, you know what? This is not worth fighting over. Um, both patients are still fine. They are quite stable. We'll transfuse them today. So cool. Transfuse them. That's fine. Um, I leave work. <clears throat> So I then have to Uber to town. So from Harangua to town, the Uber usually are like 200 or just above 200. That's fine. So I get an Uber to town. Uh, this is where also now I'm starting to really get frustrated and everything. So then my Uber is telling me that, my Uber driver says to me that um, the e-hailing people are on strike. Um, so the Uber bolt and all of them are on strike. Um, so he is not going to drop me off where he's supposed to drop me off, but he's going to drop me off close. Okay, cool. Sharp. I'm like, okay, cool. That's fine. You can do that. Um, so we, um, <clears throat> we near him the place. He dropped me off at some place I am not familiar with. And, and I ask him like, where is this? Like, like, are you sending me? And he's like, um, I'm going to drop you off here. And then you're just going to have to go across. And then you will see the station, the whole train station. Because when I told you I was there, he want a taxi, Renke. I'm like, what the hell is happening? And guys, in Bloemfontein, I can walk the CBD in Bloemfontein. I know Bloemfontein quite well. That's fine. I can walk the CBD in Cape Town because it's quite safe. And I lived in Cape Town. Johannesburg, Pretoria, CBDs, I am not a fan of those. Like, I do not want to see myself there. And my thing is, you can really ask people questions because one of the rules about being more hauteng is that you have to walk like you are pissed. Nah, you you can't ask. If you're asking people for directions, you become a target to be robbed. And I'm not about to be robbed. Please, my phone is quite expensive. <laughs> Please, I am not about to lose my phone. So, 
Ah, he, he annoyed me. That's why I walk. Hey, I was walking. Hey, yo. I was like, I guess I feel it. And I kept, on, I kept on walking, walking, trying to see, at least identify something that I know. So finally, which I could see, when I saw chicken again, that is closest to how train, <coughs> Pretoria station, I was like, oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> because then I was like, okay, cool, at least now I know where I am. Uh, that, so that was fine. Um, I gave him one star. I've never given anybody one star. I don't believe in giving people one star. You could be better to me than the list I could give you is four stars. So usually I just give five. Even if you're a chatterbox, it will give you five. For me, I prefer you to be quiet. Be good, quiet. Please don't make me talk. But <clears throat> he got one star. I hate Uber because they didn't say to me, right, I wanted to type why I'm giving one. I just had to tick a, tick a lot of things. He, he dropped me off far. He was very chatty and all of those things. But I was like, I wish I had... I could type <clears throat> quick cool i get into a how train and then um so when i left pretoria i had already texted my orthodontist to say that i'm going to get the x-rays today and i'll come back to you i'll come to your practice because i wanted to do everything on SMB, get your x-rays and get the uh the braces because i was like okay let's just do this all at once <clears throat> um so on my way there um I tried, but but that one the, the message went through it was double ticks. I don't have blue ticks, so I don't know if they read it or not because I've, I've disabled blue ticks a long time ago. They gave me anxiety. So cool. Um. So I on the how train. I'm like to him. I am good now on my way to get the X rays, and I'm like um you. So I send another message. I'm like okay, you said it is where we washed our teeth the previous time. It's one tick, one tick. Excuse me, one tick, one tick. Cool. I get to Rosebank. I get to the place where I'm supposed to get my X-rays done. Um, you know I'm a very badly person. I'm trying to suck myself up. <laughs> Going up the stairs. I get there. The receptionist is like, "We don't do X-rays here." I said, "Excuse me. What do you mean you don't do X-rays here? I was told to come here." It's like, "Who told you to come here?" I tell her, "Doctor Swanson said I must come here." It's like, no, Dr. Swanson doesn't work here anymore. And like, yes, I know that. He works where, where, where. He told me I will get my x-rays here. It's like, no, we don't do x-rays here. Excuse me? I text him on WhatsApp. I'm like, sir, apparently they don't do x-rays here. Why am I supposed to go? This lady doesn't know anything. One tick. Call on WhatsApp. It's just ringing. I'm like, okay, maybe the data was off. Call the number. Voicemail. I'm getting frustrated. So I'm like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Like, what the hell is happening? So, I remember how I was sent a referral letter in a letter here. So, all the numbers are there. So, I find the number there. I call. Then, phone rings. I'm like, finally. I'm like, sir, hey, dog, I'm at, I'm here to get the x rays uh, at the place. They say they don't do x rays here. The person on the other side is like, who said you must get x rays? I'm like, excuse me, you did. It's like, where? And I tell them, where, where, where? It's like, who said you must go there? And I'm like, what do you mean? And it, it, take, it took me, because now I'm getting frustrated, because I'm like, what do you mean, all of this? So it, like, now, it takes me a while to register that I'm speaking to the partner here, the business partner. So, um, <laughs> he really doesn't know. He, he saw me there, but I've been speaking to his other partner, so he doesn't really know. Shame. He really, he really got it. So I explained to him what is happening. It's like, no, you're not supposed to go there. Um, I'll send you the right uh, the address. So I think maybe he went to on WhatsApp and then he couldn't find me because I have two numbers. <clears throat> He calls back on this number that I called. It's like, is this number on WhatsApp? I'm like, no. And it's like, text him on WhatsApp on this Facebook number. So I save it and I text him. Okay, cool. So, um, and then he sends me a new location to go to. Yo, my response after that, I say, I am really not happy with the service that I'm receiving right now, but okay, I will go to the second location. <laughs> no, no, that, like, I was like, that was really passive aggressive. <laughs> Why do you mean? I'm, you know, at, at that time, I'm very upset. He calls, and then I do not pick up. And then um, he sends a message, and he is like, um, I am so sorry. Um, I really apologize about this. Uh, we will wash your teeth for free. At this particular moment, <laughs> I 
I, like, I, like he called, I didn't answer the phone call. I feel like that was very childish. But at that specific moment, for me, I was like, as a, as a business, as a business person, he wanted to do, to de-escalate the situation, right? But um, <clears throat> for me, I was like, I need to be within this moment right now. I need to be within these feelings. I do not want to be de-escalated right now. I need to be upset. Allow me a moment to be upset and then we can speak <laughs> right so i have to request uh, an uber again right now the thing that is frustrating me the most is the fact that i'm racing against time again because uh everything is happening in the afternoon i remember because now um it's to fall now okay I'm starting to get an over Koro's bank. This has never happened before. But remember, these people are on strike. <laughs> so they're not working. The Uber I'm finding is 10 minutes away. I would never wait for 10 minutes for anybody. But I waited for 10 minutes. Waited for 10 minutes. It came. I went to this address. I get there. Another thing. Um, you're going to pay 770 dog. And I get for 770 and then I realized right there, Jorge, when I was told to go to a specific place, and now I thought, Jorge, the 6.5 that I had paid, the X-rays were also included in that. That's why I'm going to be to a very specific place. Had I known, Jorge, at this particular place, I'm going to pay 770 there as well, I would, have, I would have just gotten the X-rays done at the hospital. I work in a hospital. I have a file number here. I would have literally just gotten the pictures here and gave them the pictures. X-rays are X-rays. They just wanted pictures to see. I would have given them the pictures. Damn. But anyway, Kapatela 7 event. Kakrea, the pictures taken. When I leave them, already I'm upset to remember. Now I'm upset now, Khori. Why Kapatela Kapitele the Mwe? 7 So, after I got this, only now I get messages from... um. My orthodontist, Jorge, his phone is demilt. One phone is alien. I can't remember the phone number because at that particular moment I thought I was going to get a deal, and I came to Kuwa next. It looked like something anybody. I was like, I don't even want these braces. If you see, like, we didn't put them. <laughs> we don't have them. So it's like, I can't at this particular moment. I want. An Apple Watch. This is the only thing that's gonna make me come down at this particular moment. <laughs> because I wanted to buy it a weekend. I couldn't because I couldn't come to uh, Johannesburg because um can I go to send him. If it's like the Apple Watch, the ice store is being renovated, so they have a very small store. Utuk. Cool, I go to the store. It's fine. Um give up what's give I have 10,000, I'm not going to pay your watch for 10,000. There's here 6,000, I'm like, okay, I'll settle for that one. Um, it was 6,700 actually. So I was like, okay, cool. I mean, for me, Saras gave me some change. And I told myself, I said, 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 I When I make book, when I iPhone, when I ink, when I need braces, one, I said, I said, So uh, the guy's like, okay, cool, this one, we can, we can do this. He goes underneath the Obatanale watch. Wahoot, I know we don't have seen another 6.7. Guys, are 10,000 well. I'm like, I am not buying watch EO. We are 10,000 EO. 6.7, I already feel like it's too much. So, one stress. I don't Now I'm sad. I'm not really upset. I'm sad. I can kill watch. I'm like, can something just good happen? So I'm like, okay, let me just go to my car. Go back to the part. I'm like, maybe if I buy clothes, I'll feel better. Tell me why the mall that I usually go to, I couldn't find my way through that. I couldn't find this Markham. I kept on going past Zara. Zara. I'm like, I've been working so Zara, man. I got so annoyed when my phone, my fitness app on the phone gave me this new, uh, so what is it? Notification. I opened it. It's like, congratulations. This is the most... <laughs> you've ever taken since you've started using this app i'm like excuse me you are laughing at my misery how could today be the most <laughs> no like they like the most steps you've ever done you've broken a record <laughs> of kilo tubes bent in a day like i don't need this right now 
So as I'm going up and down, up and down the mall, guess who I bump into? The partner, the business partner. He recognizes me from the face they are going to go get the braces. He's like to me, ah, hey, sorry, we spoke on the phone at this particular moment. I can't look at it. I can't look at it. I can't look And get frustrated that I can't find my calm. I'm like, hi. It's like, yeah, do you still know me? I'm like, yeah. It's like we spoke on the phone. Um... I'm like, okay, cool, it's fine. And he apologizes, like, and I'm like, it's okay. And then he goes, and then he's like, um, uh, so when are you going to get um, the bottom jaw braces? I'm like, I don't know. Literally, I just said, like, I don't know. And he's like, can you, can you do it tomorrow? I'm like, no. I can portray that this place is quite far. I'm not doing that. And then um, he's like, um, did you want to get them done today? And I'm like, no, it's late. It was late, but it was late, um, because it was like already past five. I'm like, I'm already thinking I need to go back to Harangu, it's quite far. So, and then he's like, I'm really, really sorry. Um, I will, I will wash your teeth for free. Um, you can come, guys, Saturday weekend. Yeah, so Saturday I will go there, it's fine. <clears throat> but I was so upset, guys. If I had flies, I wanted these things off my teeth. If I could, I would have removed them. I was like, at, at that moment, I was like, Google, I can't. The author don't in Peter, yeah. I'm like, I get horny because two things of mine that I don't like wasting were wasted. Money le chelete. I give a waste of chelete. That's my issue in life. And I don't want this video to be quite long. So because all that money that I spent on Uber, all that money that I spent on how train, all that money that I spent go the x ray and then I don't even finish what I came here to do. So yeah, so um, yeah, initially, like at the end I was I wanted to change and also don't just get someone in Pretoria, get someone else. But today I've come down, I've reflected, I've realized oh, it's a problem about automatic sometimes. I was like, what is that? I, I realized that like I, I picked up on a lot of things that I did wrong. Um I realized I picked up on a lot of things that they did wrong as well. So both parties were wrong so i feel like we have a a good understanding now moving forward if it's gonna go better um so let me know what you think was i was i the drama was i overreacting do you feel like my reaction was like was justified for me not to answer that for <laughs> for me that to be good i feel like like being <laughs> But anyway, let's end this video right here. I don't want a 30 minute video. Imagine listening to your story time set. 30 minutes is a boring. Could never be you, right? If you made it to this point, thank you so much um, for entertaining me. Um, I will never abandon you guys, like Len said. With one thing about me, it will abandon. But anyway, the universe is speaking to me. It says I must get a car. I must really get a car because coming back from there, Shame. I got to Pretoria and it was a mess getting transport to Harangu. I had to pay 300 to the meter taxes because the Ubers were not working. And it was at night. And remember, I do not want to get robbed. So the university is to me get a car. So maybe the next video that we will be doing, it's going to be like, Come with me to get my car. Anyway, until the next video, please keep safe and bye.